Good morning everybody, my name is Megan aka Simply Simmer and this video is going to be a lot different from all of my other videos on my channel because I'm actually in need of some help. Now I just want to say for starters, I'm doing this on my YouTube channel because I have a platform here, I have viewers, I have an audience already, and hopefully using this platform will be able to get the word out. I'm not the only person that this is happening to. I have found several other users on Twitter and on Reddit, on all kinds of different social media pages that are in this exact same boat. If I had recorded this on the day that it actually happened, I would have just been a big globbering mess and I wouldn't have had very cohesive and clear thoughts. But I want to be a voice for myself and for hundreds, if not thousands, of other people that this is happening to. Before we get into the story of what happened, I just want to give a little quick introduction about myself and what I use Facebook for on a daily basis. My name is Megan, aka Simply Simmer. I go by Simply Simmer because my YouTube channel is completely devoted to Sims 4 gaming videos. I also, once upon a time, had a Facebook page. It was facebook.com slash simplysimmer19. I would do live streams twice a week. I would do giveaways. I had a very loving fan base. We had thousands of followers on that page. I was able to connect with so many people, and that was just from my public Facebook page. I had my personal Facebook page for well over 12 years. I have tons of memories on there from high school. I have pictures of myself with some friends who are passed away. I have pictures and videos from when my children were born, from my wedding day, memories from when my husband and I first met, just like anybody else has on their Facebook page. So maybe you're watching this video because you were a follower of mine. Maybe you're watching because you're a friend of mine or a family member of mine. Perhaps this same thing happened to you and you're trying to find answers. Or perhaps you just stumbled upon this video on YouTube and you're curious about what happened. So on Saturday, August 1st, 2020, I was functioning just like any other person. I had posted some pictures of my kids. I had shared a couple status updates, nothing major, very normal, completely just like a regular day. Around like four or five in the afternoon, I set my phone down, I made dinner, family and I ate dinner, got the kids ready for bed, I look at my phone, I get this big message that says, your account's been disabled. There was no way, I figured it was just some kind of a glitch. I've been having some weird issues with my phone lately, so I figured this is probably nothing. I restarted my phone, tried to log into the app again, and again, it said, your account has been disabled. So I decided to get on my computer and access it from my desktop, and again, I got the same message, your account has been disabled. If you are one of the people who this has also happened to, you probably had the exact same type of questions and emotions and feelings that I did. What did I do wrong? Did I post something inappropriate? Was my account hacked? What can I do to correct this? If you're a business owner, what's going to happen to my business page? If you're a streamer like me in the Level Up program, what happens to my streaming page? And if you're just like anybody else who uses Facebook, what's gonna happen to all of my pictures and memories. So I just wanna show you guys really quick what this message looked like on my desktop and what options it gave me to make a correction. Okay, so I tried to log in and I got this message that says your account has been disabled for more information or if you think your account was disabled by mistake, please visit the help center. Obviously, I figured my account has been disabled by mistake, so I went ahead and went to the help center. And it gives me this message. It says, why was my account disabled? Your account was disabled because we determined that you are ineligible to use Facebook. For more information about our policies, please review the Facebook terms. If you think your account was disabled by mistake, please contact us. 
So I did go ahead and do a quick read through of the Facebook terms just to see if maybe something that I did post was inappropriate and went against their terms. As a YouTuber and as a streamer, I do use Facebook a lot to promote my page, just the same way that any other business owner would do. I've paid for ads for Facebook to run for my page. I've also been a streamer for months now where people have donated what's called stars, which if you're on Twitch, that's the equivalent of using bits. And if you're not into the streaming world at all, it's essentially donations that viewers pay to the streamer to support their channel. So jumping back over here, I went ahead and clicked on contact us. So it brings you to this page. It's an appeal profile disable and it asks for a copy of your ID. So really quick for the purpose of this video, I am just going to briefly go over these couple of questions. What types of ID does Facebook accept? And it gives a whole list of different things like your birth certificate, driver's license, marriage certificate, a visa, family certificate, all different kinds of things here. Or if you don't have any of these items, you can send two different items from down here, like a bank statement, credit card, library card, a permit, paycheck stub. There's a lot of different things that you can send as an ID. And it basically just says how to upload the ID, just take a picture and upload it. Why am I being asked to upload an ID? And this is basically just trying to confirm that the account belongs to you and that they are trying to verify your name. And the last question is what happens to my ID after you send it to Facebook? And basically it just says that they're going to store it securely and that they will use your ID to kind of help their AI learn the difference between a fake and a real ID. Okay, so I attached a picture of my driver's license. It has the same name on it that is on my personal Facebook page, and it doesn't matter. I don't know if this next section here for additional info, if you're actually required to put any information there. It says optional. I've tried leaving it blank. I've tried typing a whole story here. I've tried asking for forgiveness. I've tried everything, but no matter what I put there, I get this message. We can't review the decision to disable your account. We have fewer reviewers available due to the coronavirus pandemic, so we can't review this decision right now. This has been going on for six days. Trust me when I say I completely understand having fewer people available because of the pandemic. I get it. I also have a degree in IT, so if there was some kind of algorithm mistake and somehow my account got flagged as inappropriate when there was no inappropriate post being made, I understand. I understand that mistakes happen, but what I don't understand is why can't I get a hold of anybody from Facebook. There is no email address to contact Facebook. There is no phone number. You can't even submit this appeal form because it rejects it instantly. I have tried contacting them on Twitter. I found an email address on an invoice that they had sent me that I had tried reaching out to them on. I tried sending an email to press at facebook.com. And honestly, I don't remember where I found this phone number from, but I found a phone number that leads to just this. Thank you for calling Facebook user operations. Unfortunately, we do not offer phone support at this time. Answers to most user inquiries can be found at the Help Center by clicking on Help at the bottom of any Facebook page. The Help Center includes information about the site's functionality, as well as contact form for issues that require further support from Facebook. Thank you. And then the phone just disconnects. I did also submit a complaint to the Better Business Bureau to see if maybe we can get a response that way. It does look like Facebook does respond to complaints through the Better Business Bureau, but as I'm looking through, I don't even know if any of these are actually getting resolved. This post here says that they had deactivated the account. Facebook had responded asking for the email address associated with the Facebook account and there was no further response. I don't know if that's from the original poster or what happened there. 
This person here put, I just love how Facebook deactivates my account for what? Um, nothing. Again, they responded with the same cookie cutter response asking to provide the email address associated with the account that they're referring to. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single post on the Better Business Bureau because there are over 9,000 complaints in the last three years. I submitted my complaint on August 3rd. It is now August 6th, and as of 5.14 a.m. Central Standard Time, they have not responded to my Better Business Bureau complaint. I have been so confused, and I feel like I just got fired from my job, and I feel really hurt that I lost all of these photos and memories and access to my public streaming page. So I decided to go to both Reddit and Twitter to see if anybody else is having the same problem. And let's just take a look at what I found. So I started out by using this tweet. After seeing how many people have had their accounts wrongfully disabled by Facebook, I'm working on a YouTube video to hopefully get to Facebook about what's going on. If you've also been disabled, please use the hashtag Facebook disabled me and I'll send you a DM. I don't know whether to be shocked or to expect it, but I received a lot of feedback on this post. Beauty in the Bible said hashtag Facebook disabled me. We had another user that said funniest thing happened to me this week. I reported a catfish using my pictures, but Instagram went ahead and disabled my account permanently. I don't even care for the account, but all of my memories are lost for good now. James Dallas said, I woke up this morning to a message from one of my fellow churchgoers that our church page on Facebook was unpublished on Facebook. Not sure why, but we definitely are a real organization. Andrew Allen Johnson also is experiencing this same issue. People who actually respond to users' needs when their account has been disabled for no reason. Rachel put, they disabled my account as well and I no longer have access to the 20 plus business pages that I use for my job as well as my personal businesses. They have done nothing to help. Lost Boy put, my Instagram and Facebook account is disabled without any reason. Sent many emails for requesting to activate my IDs but there is still no response from your end. Christine put, the same thing has happened to me. It's been three weeks now. I would love to know how to contact Facebook to let them know they have made a mistake. Switching over to Reddit, there's several posts here as well. Facebook disabled my mother's account for not following community standards while she was sick. There are some people here, I'm in the same boat. Another person said, it seems many people now are in the same boat. Something is going on at Facebook and it seems they throw out a lot of people. Another post here, Facebook suddenly disabled my account for not following its community standards when I have not even done a thing or even used my account so much recently and I can't reach support or retrieve and delete my data. Another user put, there is no real support for Facebook. It's a joke. There are thousands of people, me included, who have been booted from Facebook for no reason at all and we can't get back in. You can go to the help and find your weaving way to send in a request. Best of luck. These are just a few posts that I found. All that I did on Twitter was I searched at Facebook and went to the most recent tweets and about every three or four minutes there was another user saying that this had happened to them as well. I don't know what we're supposed to do. At a time like this when everybody is supposed to be staying home, it's so important to stay connected to your friends and family. People are being booted for no reason whatsoever and there's not even an option to contact customer support. I feel like this is a huge opportunity for Facebook. It's a huge opportunity to provide jobs for people, and I'm hoping that maybe this video will get to somebody at Facebook to let them know what's going on and how many people this is affecting. I don't really know what the outcome of this video will be. There might not ever be anything that happens with it. But hopefully, if your account hasn't already been disabled, you can take this as a word of advice to go save all of your pictures. Because at any given moment, your Facebook account could be disabled. If I can help just one person, then this video will be worth it to me. This video is not for entertainment purposes. This is simply just to get the word out about what is happening. If you're watching this video, please help me get this video boosted in the YouTube algorithm. You can press like 
or even if you dislike the video, it's going to help the algorithm. If you're subscribed, leave a comment below. If you're not subscribed, leave a comment saying that you aren't subscribed, but this video was recommended to you. If this has happened to you as well, leave a comment below letting me know what steps you have taken and if you've had any success or not with it. We just need to get the word out. There are so many people who can't contact their loved ones, especially in a time like this. Hopefully this gets through to somebody. If you're on Twitter, please do me a favor and share this video with the hashtag Facebook disabled me. If you're on Facebook, please feel free to share this with your friends to let them know that they need to save their data now. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Once again, my name is Megan, aka Simply Simmer, and I appreciate any support that can be given through this.